One of Africa's most intriguing and enduring ethnic groups have captivated the world's imagination for centuries. Originating from the Nile Valley in Sudan, they embarked on a remarkable migration southward during the 15th and 16th centuries, eventually settling in the expansive plains of Kenya and Tanzania. These proud pastoralists, known for their vibrant attire, intricate beadwork, and profound connection to their cattle, have maintained a semi-nomadic lifestyle that continues to intrigue and inspire. With a rich cultural heritage steeped in ancient traditions, these people offer a unique window into a way of life that balances the demands of modernity with the preservation of ancestral wisdom. Join us on an enthralling journey to discover the captivating world of this enigmatic tribe, where every aspect of their existence tells a story of resilience, identity, and harmony with nature. Here are 15 fascinating facts about the Maasai people. Fact number one, the Maasai worship Enkai, a deity of fertility and rain central to their spiritual life. The Maasai believe in a single deity, Enkai, or Engai, who plays a central role in their spiritual and daily life. Enkai is often depicted as a dual-gendered god associated with both fertility and rain, which are crucial for the Maasai's pastoral lifestyle. This belief system influences many aspects of their culture, including rituals, ceremonies, and the way they interact with the natural world. The Maasai perceive Enkai as a benevolent force that ensures the well-being of their cattle and, by extension, their community. Rituals and prayers to Enkai are integral parts of Maasai life, particularly during key agricultural and life events. For instance, the Maasai perform rainmaking ceremonies to invoke Enkai's blessings during droughts. The community's elders, who are seen as spiritual leaders, often lead these rituals. This spiritual connection fosters a sense of unity and purpose among the Maasai, reinforcing their cultural identity and their harmonious relationship with nature. Fact number two. Traditionally, the Maasai do not bury their dead, opting instead to honor nature. Traditionally, the Maasai do not bury their dead. Instead, they practice open-air disposal, leaving the deceased out for scavengers, such as hyenas, to consume. This practice is rooted in their deep respect for the land and their belief that death should give back to the earth. Only great chiefs were historically given the honor of a burial, reflecting their elevated status within the community. This method underscores the Maasai's spiritual connection to nature and their sustainable practices. In contemporary times, due to changing beliefs and external influences, some Maasai have adopted burial practices. However, the traditional method still holds cultural significance and is practiced by some communities. The shift towards burial often aligns with the adoption of Christianity and Islam, which have different death and burial rites. Despite these changes, the traditional Maasai practices continue to highlight their unique cultural heritage and respect for the natural world. Fact number three, the Maasai speak Ma, a language rich in oral traditions and cultural history. The Maasai speak Ma, a language that is part of the Nilo-Saharan language family. Ma is not just a means of communication, but a vital component of Maasai identity and culture. It carries the oral traditions, folklore and knowledge passed down through generations. This linguistic heritage helps maintain the cohesion and continuity of Maasai society, allowing them to preserve their history and customs in the face of modernization and external influences. In addition to Ma, many Maasai also speak Swahili and English, especially those who have had access to formal education or live in areas with significant tourist activity. The ability to speak multiple languages enhances their capacity to engage with the broader East African community and the world economy. However, the primary use of Ma within the community underscores the importance of cultural preservation and the desire to maintain their unique identity amidst changing times. Fact number four, the Maasai's vibrant red shukas and intricate beadwork symbolize their unique identity. The Maasai are renowned for their vibrant red shukas, which are large rectangular cloths worn wrapped around the body. This distinctive attire is more than just clothing. 
It is a symbol of Maasai identity and pride. The color red is particularly significant as it represents bravery, strength, and the blood of cattle, which are central to Maasai life. In addition to the shukas, Maasai adorn themselves with intricate beadwork, which varies in color and design to convey different messages and statuses within the community. Beadwork is an essential part of Maasai culture, often crafted by women and passed down through generations. The beads are used to make necklaces, bracelets and earrings, each piece telling a story about the wearer's age, marital status and social position. These colorful decorations are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also play a role in social and cultural expression, reinforcing the Maasai's rich heritage and sense of community. Fact number five. The Maasai are exceptionally tall, with men averaging well over six feet in stature. The Maasai are renowned for their remarkable height, with men averaging around six feet three inches tall. This distinctive characteristic is particularly notable as Maasai men often stand significantly taller than the worldwide average of approximately 5 feet 7 inches. Their impressive height has been a subject of interest and admiration, contributing to the striking and commanding presence of the Maasai people. This trait is not just a matter of physical appearance, but also part of their cultural identity, symbolizing strength and vitality. The reasons behind the Maasai's notable height are believed to be a combination of genetic factors and their traditional diet. The Maasai diet is rich in protein, primarily derived from milk, meat and blood from their cattle, providing essential nutrients that support growth and development. Additionally, their active pastoral lifestyle likely contributes to their robust physical condition. This unique combination of genetics, diet and lifestyle underscores the Maasai's exceptional physical stature and continues to fascinate researchers and observers alike. Fact number six. Maasai warriors, historically hunted lions to prove bravery, now a symbolic conservation practice. Historically, lion hunting was a rite of passage for Maasai warriors, symbolizing bravery and skill. Young warriors, or Morans, would hunt lions to protect their cattle and prove their courage. Successfully hunting a lion brought great honor and status within the community. This practice was deeply rooted in Maasai culture and tradition, reinforcing the warrior's role as protector and provider. However, due to conservation efforts and declining lion populations, lion hunting has significantly decreased. Modern Maasai warriors are more likely to engage in ceremonial hunts or simulated events that do not harm the animals. These changes reflect a growing awareness of environmental conservation and the need to protect wildlife. The shift from traditional lion hunting to conservation efforts highlights the Maasai's ability to adapt while still preserving the essence of their cultural heritage and values. Fact number seven, the Maasai's adumu or jumping dance showcases strength and communal bonds. The Maasai are famous for their traditional dances, which are an integral part of their cultural expression. One of the most well-known dances is the Adumu, or jumping dance, performed by young warriors. During this dance, participants form a circle, and individuals take turns leaping high into the air from a standing position. The higher the jump, the greater the display of strength and prowess. Dances are performed during various ceremonies, including weddings, initiations, and celebrations. Each dance has its own significance and is accompanied by traditional songs and chants. The rhythmic movements and vocal harmonies create a powerful and captivating experience. Through these dances, the Maasai celebrate their cultural heritage, convey important stories and messages, and foster a sense of unity and identity within their community. Fact number eight. Maasai society is organized by age sets, fostering lifelong bonds and cultural knowledge. The Maasai society is structured around age sets, groups of individuals who move through life stages together. Each age set has specific roles and responsibilities, and members undergo various rituals and ceremonies as they progress. This system creates a strong sense of camaraderie and support among peers. It begins in childhood and continues throughout life, ensuring that knowledge and traditions are passed down through generations. Age sets play a crucial role in maintaining social order 
and cohesion within the Maasai community. They provide a framework for leadership and decision-making, with elders holding significant authority and respect. The system also facilitates the transmission of cultural values and practices, as each age set undergoes collective experiences and teachings. This structured progression helps preserve Maasai heritage and fosters a deep sense of belonging and identity. Fact number nine. Cattle are the lifeblood of the Maasai, representing wealth and sustenance. Cattle are central to Maasai culture and economy, serving as a primary source of food, wealth, and social status. The Maasai measure wealth by the number of cattle they own, and livestock plays a crucial role in various aspects of their lives. Cattle provide milk, which is a staple of the Maasai diet, and are also used for meat and blood, especially during ceremonies. The health and well-being of the cattle are closely tied to the prosperity of the Maasai people. Beyond their economic value, cattle have significant social and cultural importance. They are often given as dowries during marriage negotiations, strengthening familial and community bonds. Livestock are also involved in rituals and sacrifices, underscoring their spiritual significance. The Maasai's deep connection to their cattle reflects their pastoral heritage and the symbiotic relationship they have developed with their livestock over centuries. Fact number 10. The Maasai are semi-nomadic pastoralists, moving with their cattle seasonally. Traditionally, the Maasai are semi-nomadic pastoralists, moving with their cattle in search of fresh grazing land and water. This lifestyle is dictated by the seasonal patterns of the environment, ensuring that their livestock has access to the necessary resources. The Maasai's ability to adapt to changing conditions has allowed them to thrive in the arid and semi-arid regions of East Africa for centuries. Their movements are carefully planned and executed to maintain ecological balance and ensure the sustainability of their resources. This way of life also reinforces social cohesion and communal cooperation, as families and communities work together to manage their herds and navigate the challenges of their environment. Despite modern pressures, many Maasai continue to uphold their traditional way of life. Fact number 11. Maasai Enkangs are temporary homes made from mud, sticks, and cow dung. Maasai houses known as Enkangs are traditionally made of mud, sticks, grass, and cow dung. These materials are locally sourced and readily available, reflecting the Maasai's resourcefulness and adaptability. The houses are designed to be temporary and movable, accommodating their semi-nomadic lifestyle. An Enkang typically consists of several small huts arranged in a circular enclosure, providing protection for the family and livestock. The construction of Maasai houses is a communal effort, often led by women. This task showcases their skills and knowledge in building and maintaining homes that are both functional and sustainable. The design of the houses allows for easy dismantling and relocation, aligning with the Maasai's need to move with their cattle. This flexibility is a key aspect of their resilience and ability to thrive in diverse environments. Fact number 12. Maasai children are named after three months have passed to ensure survival. In Maasai culture, children are named only after they reach three months old, a tradition rooted in historically high infant mortality rates. This practice allows the family to ensure the child's survival before they are officially introduced to the community. The naming ceremony, known as Enkipukonoto Eaji, or the coming out of the seclusion period, is a significant cultural event, filled with celebration and community involvement. During the initial three months, the mother and child remain secluded to protect the infant and allow the mother to bond with her baby. At the ceremony's end, both the mother and child's heads are shaved symbolizing a fresh start and the child's formal entry into society. This tradition highlights the Maasai's value of life, family bonds, and communal support, reflecting their deep cultural heritage. Fact number 13. Maasai women balance traditional roles with increasing education and leadership. Maasai women play a vital role in the community, responsible for building homes, fetching water, and milking cattle. 
their contributions are essential to the daily functioning and sustainability of Maasai society. Women also engage in beadwork and crafts, creating intricate jewelry that holds cultural significance and is often used in ceremonies and trade. In addition to their traditional roles, Maasai women are increasingly participating in education and leadership positions. Many women are now involved in community organizations and initiatives aimed at improving health, education, and economic development. These shifts reflect the dynamic nature of Maasai culture and the potential for positive change while honoring traditional values and practices. Fact number 14. The Maasai practice sustainable grazing, respecting their environment. The Maasai have a deep knowledge of their environment and practice sustainable grazing to preserve the land for future generations. Their traditional grazing patterns and rotational practices help maintain ecological balance and prevent overgrazing. This stewardship is rooted in their cultural values and their understanding of the delicate relationship between their livelihood and the health of the environment. Sustainable practices are essential for the long-term survival of the Maasai and their cattle. They have developed strategies to manage water resources, protect grazing areas, and adapt to changing climatic conditions. This environmental awareness is passed down through generations, ensuring that future Maasai continue to uphold these practices. By maintaining their traditional knowledge and adapting to modern challenges, the Maasai demonstrate a commitment to preserving their way of life and the natural world they depend on. Fact number 15. Tourism brings opportunities and challenges as the Maasai share and preserve their culture. The Maasai have become an iconic symbol of East African culture and are often featured in tourism campaigns. Tourism has brought both opportunities and challenges to their traditional way of life. On one hand, it provides economic benefits and a platform for cultural exchange. Many Maasai communities engage in eco-tourism and cultural tourism, sharing their customs and lifestyle with visitors while generating income. However, Tourism can also lead to cultural commodification and environmental pressures. The influx of tourists and the demand for authentic experiences can impact the Maasai's daily life and traditions. Balancing the benefits and drawbacks of tourism requires careful management and community involvement. By embracing tourism on their terms, the Maasai aim to ensure that it supports their cultural preservation and economic sustainability without compromising their values and heritage. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more fascinating facts and untold history.